Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Dirty. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out. And now we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the single player garage mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you do download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require enable all interiors so make sure that you do download this mod and I will leave it inside my description below now of course this does require lemon UI so make sure that you do download lemon UI so let's get straight into it once you have finished downloading all of your files and installing all other requirements go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location now before you do anything, you must go to your scripthookv.net.ini file, double click, now make sure that you do change your reload key to insert, then save your text file. Next, if you do not have a scripts folder, then just simply right click, create a new folder, and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct, and make sure that it's all lowercase. Now, unfortunately, I do have other files in there, so don't worry. The first thing that we must do is open up our Lemon UI extract folder, go to your SHVDN2 folder, select all the files, and drag it inside your scripts folder. Next, open up your SHVDN3 folder, select all the files, and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your enable all interiors extract folder. Go inside here, then go inside your scripts folder. Then now select all the files and folder, except for the text files. And now drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your single player garage extract folder. Open up this folder. Then open up your scripts folder. Then now select all the files and folders except for the text file and drag it inside your scripts folder. Wait for a few seconds. And now this will pop up. Just select replace. And now get back to your extract folder and I'll exit out of your extract folder. Now on your scripts folder, go to your Creative Auto V main folder, right click. Refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are here with Franklin. So, as you can see, I'm in the game, and my game did not crash. So, when you're in the game, okay, before you do anything else, what you must do is that you must enable the interiors. So, open up your phone, go to your contacts, now go right down to the bottom. And I go to enable all interiors first. Now wait for a few seconds. Go to change an interior. Now go right down to the bottom to misc options. And now go to load MP maps and change that to true. Go to enable blips, change that to true. Now this next step is optional, but I always do this. Go to random color blips and change that to true. Now go back to your main menu and go to refresh interior. Wait for a few seconds, then exit out of your menu. 
Then now on your keyboard, press insert. Now your game will freeze for only three seconds. Don't worry, it will come back. Now as you can see, my game is back now. What you can do, okay, is that I'm already close to a garage over here. You can basically go to any garage you want, okay. These are garage over here. And there's a garage over here somewhere. So you have these loads of garage that you can choose. There's a few up here, like one over here. And now there's one over here as well, so yeah. But the garage that I'm going to go to is this one over here. Now when you come over here, okay, is that you can press E to purchase the garage. And now you can press Q to enter the garage. And now you're in. As you can see, there's no vehicle in here. You can just bring your vehicle or you can come over here. Press E to buy a vehicle. And now add a vehicle. And now you can choose any vehicle you want. I'll choose a muscle and I'll choose a Duke of Death. Now I already bought a car and now there's a car right there next to me. Right over here, the Duke of Death. Now when you come over here, okay, you can jump that just jump in. Now you can press E to use this record or Q to save it. Now let's go and press E. Now you can drive out and now you can do whatever you want, it's totally up to you. Now when you drive in, okay. Now you can press Q or E, but but if you haven't saved the record inside your garage, you must press E. Then go to garage options, then save record, then save it in slots, whatever slot you want, okay? But unfortunately, I have already got one in slot one. So it's the current record. But let's go and press Q to enter. So as you can see, the car is still there and it's already saved. So that's how you guys uh, use the mod. It's pretty easy and pretty simple. And we are back again. So I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. But unfortunately, I do not read your guys' comments on YouTube much because I don't get notified. So if you do want fast reply, then I do have my Discord server inside my description below. With that said, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.